And the voiceover work, if someone wanted to get started in that, I mean, what's the best way to do that, especially well, if they've never done it before? Well, voiceover is, without a doubt, the most competitive, competitive niche, I think, in the entertainment business. Um, there are so many different uh, facets to it. There are, uh, you know, there are commercial voiceovers, um, video games, um, uh, just all kinds of different components to the, the the world of voiceover animation, the world of voiceover. Um, the most important thing I think a, a new person can do is to take a class and learn how to do voiceover. Uh, doing voiceover is not about having a voice like this 99% of the time. It's about, you know, uh, and the flavor of the day changes uh, constantly. Um, and you have to be adaptable to that and go with that. And you have to be able to take direction and learn how to um, say a phrase in 99 shades of blue. You know, you, uh, it, and being able to interpret copy and, uh, is so important. And, y and you learn all that in a voiceover class. And there are a number of different good ones that are that are being offered in Los Angeles uh, at any given time. And then, and you know, something you might find that it's not for you. Um, but give the class a shot to find out whether or not you're, you know, this is something you really want to pursue. And then make yourself a demo CD. And there are people that produce uh, demo CDs as well. A mistake that a lot of new voiceover people make is to move too quickly into making a demo because demo producers can produce something that sounds really professional and slick. The problem is that if you don't have the classroom experience and the sort of semi-real world experience of working constantly in a, in a group situation in a, in a class, then you won't be able to live up to that demo in a real world studio situation. And you're not going to do anybody any favors by, by doing that. So, um, you know, everything occurs in a specific order. And spend as much time as you need to on each ingredient in the, in, the, in the order there. And you make a demo, and then you shop your demo around to agents. And voiceover isn't really a hobby. It's not a part-time thing. Um, you really sort of have to commit to it as a full-time endeavor. If you really want to have access to the auditions and to the opportunities that come with voiceover. Yeah. It's, da it's daunting. It's daunting, but um, the rewards are great.